Nobody's giving up around here, and don't you forget it, ever. You're Rex. You're king. You're duke. You're boss. I'm chief. We're a pack of scary, indestructible alpha dogs. My character, Chief, is a, is a stray dog, a homeless being. Uh, some resentment and anger and uncertainty and anxiety. He's, he's, he fights, he scraps because he may not eat if he doesn't. So he's got to defend his turf, and, but he has no idea what, he's, what his purpose is. And through the course of the movie, he, it becomes clear what, his, what he was born to do, what it was his destiny. And it's noble, and it's loving, and it's in, in, encompassing of the, the world that he inhabits. And it's beautiful. We get the idea. You're looking for your lost dog spots. Does anybody know him? No. no. He knows specifically what he wants, but sometimes it's elusive, and he's very vulnerable in some cases, and he'll readily admit, I'm not quite sure about this beat or this moment or something. And, and that is a wonderful trait in a human being because he's offering up his own uncertainty at any given point, to which actors uh, embrace that kind of vulnerability, and we want to support him. And the only reason that actors come back and back and back to work with him is because of that nature. He's not dictatorial. He, but he's not a, a, a doormat either. He knows where he wants to go, but sometimes the route is circuitous and, and you don't actually know which door to open to get to it. And so you use that collaborative sensibility to be able to help each other get to his vision. Somebody is up to something. Will you help him? The little pilot. Why should I? Because he's a 12-year-old boy. Dogs love those. We'll find him. The only thing that actors have in the beginning of doing an animated uh, are sketches. Sketches that you see of your, of your character and also others and the world a little bit and then you read the script and then you use your own imagination to see how it would come together. And even still, as imaginative as you can be, the world of Wes Anderson is, is another level. It, it deep and up and it opens up and you go, wow, I, I couldn't have imagined this with, this, with the, the cumulative factor of the, the vision and the sound and the music and the, and the language and the culture. And it's like, it's, it's like a, a bouquet of flowers that you receive and it's just, it's magnificent. I don't think I can stomach any more of this garbage. Exactly. Same here. Words out of my mouth.